Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I will be showing you how to make a gas mask. Uh, I mentioned this in one of my previous updates and it's about time I get rid of it. Before I do make it I'll show you what it looks like. Okay basically when you run the game you will notice that you can't see no gas mask. But if you hit the right key gas mask enables itself like so. Okay and if you hit the same key again it disables itself and that's what you'll be learning today so let me go into more and develop actually wait let me delete the whole script because I'll be showing you from the beginning let me delete this okay let me just refresh more and develop okay right first thing click on your script folder and create new JavaScript and call this gas mask okay Double click and open that more develop. Uh, I don't need function start, so right away I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that up there as well. Before I do start, I will need some wearables, so I'm going to get the other way first. And the first wearable I need is a GY style because I know the gas mask is a 2D flat image. So let's do that first. So I'm going to call my var gas mask. Uh, style and it's going to be type GUI capital GUI capital S style there we go the next one is going to be um, var uh, gas mask on it's going to be a type boolean and it's going to be equals to by default by default For the next one is N O, sh short for number of and turns. So number of turns. So we type integer, and it's going to have a value of zero. Okay, that's the three variables I need. Now, what's the function that I need? I know I need a function on G Y. So let's make that first. Function on GUI, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. Uh, I also need two new functions that I would create. We call this function um, on gas mask. So basically, enabling the gas mask function off gas mask open bracket close bracket open curly brace close bracket curly brace sorry save that so that's all the functions I need uh, before we do start off I want to set the no turns variable so that we can't go over a certain limit so we can't go less than zero or higher than zero but at the moment we should be able to just go beyond the limits uh, just drag your gas mask script onto your main camera. So look for it. Okay, there it is. If I run the game at the moment, you can see that no turns can be less than zero and higher than zero. We want to prevent that first. So we're going to say if in the update function, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. We're going to say number of turns. Equals equals no sorry it's less than zero. Then we want number of turns to be equals to zero. Uh, copy that line, paste it in there, and set that to one, and set this is greater than one. Like that. Okay, I know that works, but I'm not gonna test it right now. Right, next thing you want to do is you want to get the input keys ready before we start making the GUI. So we're going to say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. Copy this one here and paste it underneath this if statement right here. Save it. And for the first one we're going to say input dot get key, open bracket, close bracket. And we're going to say what key do we want to press? Key code. Now I want to press the G key to turn my gas mask on. So you can have whatever you want. So press, I'm going to put G in there. 
And after this, in this bracket, I'm going to say an n number of turns is equals equals to zero. Now I'll explain what that does in a bit. Just give me one second. Let me copy this input command and paste it into the second statement down there and change this one to one. Now what that does is basically because we're pressing the same key twice, we want a way to check um, if we can press it again. Because if you just press it again and again, it won't work. It'll turn the gas mask on, but it won't turn it off. So this way we're telling it to follow a rule and saying, if we press G for the first time and that is equal to zero, somewhere in the script we're gonna tell it to turn number of turns into one. So once number of turn is equal to once and we press the G key again, we're gonna tell it to turn it back to zero. So that's how it works. And you can do it for a flashlight system as well. That's how it works. So we've got those set up. That's okay. Save your scene. Uh, sorry, script. Go down onto on gas mask. And in here you want to say yield. Wait for seconds. Open bracket, close bracket. Closing semicolon. And I want to put the 0 one second. That's all I want to wait. And paste that into this one. And underneath this, I'm going to say number of turns is equals to one. In this one, number of turns is equals to zero. You'll see why this is done later on when it's finished. Also, we want gas mask. Oops. Gas mask on equals to true. So we're enabling the gas mask. Copy that line, paste it underneath this one, and set that to false. Save it. Go to the top, look for the first input command key. And over here, say, sorry, call the on gas mask function. There we are. And Second time you press it, we're going to call the off gas mask. Sweet. Uh, let's go to the GUI now. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be creating a button. We're going to be creating a label, so we don't want people to be able to click on it. Okay. So we're going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close bracket curly brace already. And in this one, I'm going to say if gas mask. Um, on is equals equals to true then show the gas mask only otherwise it will stay default so you won't see it and inside here let's put the GUI so GUI dot label open bracket close bracket new rectangle rect open bracket close bracket comma speech marks comma and GUI skin over here, so gas, gas mask style. So that's the style we're going to use for this. And let's start positioning this. So the X position is going to be equal to nothing. So that is that. Y is going to be nothing as well. That's that. The width of the image and the height is all we need for this. So the width of the image is supposed to be the screen size. So screen dot width screen dot height for the next one and we're pretty much done save your script go back into unity let's apply the texture oh I missed a semicolon somewhere where did I miss this for the GUI yeah I did save it that should disappear All right now go to the gas mask style layer, uh, open the normal property and add the gas mask texture which is available on the site if you're watching this tutorial right now so you can go download it and use it. Uh, let me look for it. There we are. Put that into that. Now the moment of truth, does this script work? Let's find out. 
Okay, let's run the game. Right, at the moment you can see there's no gas mask, and if you look down here it says gas mask on is false and above turn is zero. So if I click G right now, we should get gas mask on to true and number of turns to one. Like so. That tells me that works. So would this work if I hit the same key again? Well it should. So if I hit the same key again, it should search false and number of turns back to zero. There you go. And that's how you make a gas mask. Now this can be applied for a, a flashlight as well. It's pretty simple. That's all you do. As always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And see you soon.